Hey there YouTube, France Hopper here. Uh, I was recently asked uh, in a comment to one of my videos, the one on some tips and tricks for Lion, um, about my menu bar up here, how I make it uh, look the way it is. Uh, this is my Mac Pro system, so my menu bar is slightly different uh, from the menu bar that I showed previously, which was the one on my MacBook Pro. But for the most part, it's going to be mostly the same. Um, so let me just detail everything that is up here so that uh, you kind of know what all this is, since a lot of this indeed is not standard in OS X. Uh, this icon here, this is for drop copy. It's similar to air sharing in that uh, if I take a file, I can drop it on this little space over here and send it to another one of my Macs. Uh, this is ADM over here. This is Boink, B-O-I-N-C. Uh, I'll bring that up so you can see what that is. What this is, is uh, I run various sort of like uh, projects and experiments for science. They can be anything from uh, SETI to, let's see, what else do I have on here today? I've got, uh, there's SETI at home. There's, uh, it looks like, what is that, Einstein at home day. There's like a World Community Grid, Help Conquer Cancer, various different uh, things is what that does. Um, and basically the way that works is I just donate my computer's uh, idle resources and everything to, you know, just going through all sorts of data. Um, up here, this is Playback. This is a media server. This is the Google Music Manager for Google Music. This is uh, Dropbox, this is Menu Weather Light, this is Quicksilver, what that is, is uh, that's what it looks like. It works similar to uh, Spotlight in that I can type in something, it'll open it for me. Uh, this is Firefly, it's another open source media server. This is uh, DNS Omatic Updater. This is uh, Flash uh, Frozen. Audio Switcher, Smart Reporter, Recoupa Tracker, TechNet Updater, Flux, Transmit, Little Snitch, Network Monitor, Audio Switcher, Clusters, Screen Sharing, Menulet, uh, this is Log Me In, this is Main Menu Pro, Growl, which is what this is over here, it's a notifications um, thing where I can have various sorts of things pop up on my screen. Um, this, oh, this is actually logging me, this is Amachi over here, sorry. And uh, this button here, this is Keychain Access, which uh, what that allows you to do is Keychain Access is a program in OS X that uh, will save all of your passwords uh, if you decide, you know, tell, say, like Safari or whatever, yes, remember this password. And so all your passwords are going to be accumulated here. Um, this is what it looks like if you were to open it up. You have a listing of everything here and like say you forget a password for something you can double click on it point in your administrator password and it'll display it uh, obviously I'm not going to do that um, but the way to get this icon up here which also has the handy feature of allowing you to lock your screen if say you step away uh, the way to do that is if you go to the keychain access preferences there is an option right here in general that says show keychain status and menu bar and that will add that little icon there. So the next icon after that, this is iChat here where you can uh, you know change your status, see who's available, all that fun stuff. Um, I believe that's on by default once you set up iChat uh, in the event that it is not. Let me show you how you can do that. We just uh, open up iChat, just click in general settings, show status and menu bar. And so uh, after that, this is uh, ink icon. I have a tablet connected to my computer, so unless you have a tablet, you're probably never going to see this icon. This is Bluetooth here. This is audio, and uh, this is the clock. This is not standard. By default, you just see the hours and minutes without the double dot and uh, the hour. The way to change this is if you go to the date and time preferences, which you can get just by clicking on time. Um, first off, if it's not even in your menu bar, just go to system preferences, date and time, click on clock, and then show date and time in menu bar. I have mine as digital. 
I checked show time with seconds so that the seconds are there. Flash the time separators, show the day of the week, and show the date. I also have my computer set up where every hour it'll announce the hour so that I don't lose track of time. Uh, up here, this is my account short name. If you have more than one account on your uh, computer, this is something you can set up. Um, as well as just return to the login screen as an alternate way of locking your screen. Uh, the way that you can turn this on is if you go to System Preferences and then go to Users and Groups. In fact, that icon there. If you click on Login Options, you will see here there is an option called Show Fast User Switching in Menu As, and then you have the option of uh, your account full name, short name, or just the icon. By default, it's just an icon, which looks like this. It's just a little person. Short name is, again, the account short name or your account's full name. So like now, I have it as my full name. Switched back to short name, and it looks like that. Uh, these notifications here, this is TweetDeck, that's not part of Growl, although it does look similar. And this, of course, is Spotlight. Um, one of the other comments that uh, I got is that my menu bar color was different. Um, I'm not entirely sure what they meant by that. Uh, the OS X uh, menu bar is semi-transparent, so depending on your desktop background, that color is going to change. So, to give you an example of... Um, how it can change. I'll just uh, change my desktop here real quick. So uh, now that this has loaded up all of my images, as you can see here's different images that I have. So if I click on another one, sure enough uh, it's going to change and as you can see this is now slightly uh, more blue, uh, has a bluer tint to it. If I change to that picture it's going to be darker. There's another darker one, slightly um, lighter color. And then if you don't want the semi-transparency at all, you can of course just uncheck translucent and it's just a solid silver color. Uh, one other thing I would like to point out is, um, as some of you may have noticed, I have dock icons here that are semi-transparent. Uh, what this is, this is a feature that you can do via a terminal command, where if you have a window that's hidden, it can turn semi-transparent. Uh, the way you do that is, I have it up here, you type in this command here, defaults write com.apple.doc show hidden dash bold yes into terminal. Um, I'll post the link for this in the description for this video if you want to do it uh, yourself. If you want to turn the semi-transparency off just change the yes to a no like it says right here and you'll be good to go. So um, that's about it. If you have any other questions about Lion, how I've done anything uh, on my desktop or anything like that, uh, if there's a feature you're looking for that you can't find, just uh, drop me a line and I will uh, do my best to show you how to do it. So that's it.